hosting the DNC in Chicago in 2024 will bring thousands of good paying, labor friendly jobs to our city and to our state. Portraying it as a potential boost for the city's struggling hospitality industry, politicians urged Chicagoans to support a bid to host the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Chicago competing with three other finalist cities who also hope to host the event. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, has more. Chicago has hosted more presidential nominating conventions than any other city, but only one in 1996 since conventions became mostly made-for-TV infomercials. The Democrats' national chairman hopes his future host city understands that. It's about putting on the best show possible on the ground, but also on television, painting the picture. Wherever Democrats convene, Republicans such as former President Trump will be offering a counter-narrative. The finalist cities include Houston and Atlanta, as well as New York and Chicago, two towns Trump denounced today as hellish war zones. Many of our once great cities from New York to Chicago to L.A., literal war zones. Every day there are stabbings, rapes, murders, and violent assaults of every kind imaginable. Chicago boosters plan for a presidential nominating convention that would showcase the city's attractions, including its summertime beauty and entertainment, and not just downtown. Not only is the convention going to be good for Chicago, but Chicago is good for the convention. As they seek the convention, local Democrats are divided over who will chair their party. Cicero State Representative Lisa Hernandez hopes to unseat incumbent chair Congresswoman Robin Kelly this Saturday, telling Fox 32 News last night that Kelly's failed in fundraising, voter registration, and other party functions. Of course she's saying that she's running, but no, that's not true. We we have it together. We, we are doing a great job. Republicans appear ready to book their 2024 convention in Milwaukee. The Democrats are expected to make a decision sometime by early 2023. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.